hopefully that will help them thrive. Here in Western North Carolina, spring has most definitely sprung. The tulips have come out and so have the pollinators. It's like our yard is a carpet of purple ground ivy flowers and wild violets. And with that, it also feels like there is a carpet of bees. They're loving those flowers so much. This weekend's project had to be squeezed into one day because we took a road trip up to Asheville on Saturday to visit our friend Sage and her new baby lambs and livestock guardian puppy. This year, although we have many projects that need our attention, we've decided to try and incorporate more consistent off-the-farm days to go on hikes and just enjoy ourselves. The projects might happen a tad slower, but we're okay with that. Before we could tackle our project of the weekend, we needed to finish clearing out another part of the orchard. So Taylor got right to work on cleaning up the ground level and chopping down the remainder of the small trees that needed to be removed. While he worked on this, I raked up a small pile of leaves to add to our duck run. We've been adding leaves to the duck and chicken runs all winter and they've absolutely loved digging around and scratching in them and it helps to keep the ground in there nice and fresh. <laughs>
I just brought all of the raspberries we're gonna try and plant today. I think we actually have one blackberry. I think this one's a blackberry, but we're just gonna put it in there anyway. Honestly, I'm not really sure if all of these are gonna make it. We've had these since late winter or spring of, I think, 2021. We got them when we were living with our friend Adam. They've been in these pots slash cat litter buckets ever since, and the buckets themselves are not really holding up. <laughs> They're not meant to last this long. Even the ones that are are pretty, pretty rough at this point. So we did get berries off of most of these last year. Hopefully getting them in the ground and getting them established after three years of being in these tiny little pots and being neglected and moved across the country and all sorts of stuff. Hopefully that will help them thrive. So these four are the rasp slash blackberries. These, however, are two enormous blueberries that we just got from the farmer's market the other weekend. It's literally almost, it's probably about six feet tall. It's pretty big. I know it's kind of hard to see, but they've got roots on them and they were $10 at the farmer's market and the guy always has them. So we figured we'd give them a shot and if we like them, maybe we'll get more. Yeah, yeah we'll see how they do. We also have the elderberry that we accidentally <laughs> weed whacked that we thought was dead in this bucket and it's still alive. It's growing some new roots on it. We've had it in water since last weekend and we're gonna just replant it and hope that it lives. Last summer, I think it was July, which was a horrible time to plant berries, but they're all still alive. So I guess that worked out. <laughs> they didn't grow a ton last year, but hopefully they were just growing the root system and I mean they did um, send up some new shoots and stuff and they had good leaves on them. They're all turning green again already and have some buds so I think they're all gonna make it. Well these blueberries we're just gonna kind of extend since we have two of them we have these three rows we're gonna extend two of these rows and then we're gonna do a wide enough space in between and then we'll do the raspberries in a row and then eventually we'll add the trellis for the raspberries, but that's just not really high on the priority list right now. They'll be fine without it. As long as they're in the ground, they're gonna be a lot happier than they are now. Holes, is that what we're doing first? Yeah, I figure we'll go just past this old fence line we had and uh, dig two holes for these blueberries. Ooh, nice soft dirt. Sideways. <laughs> I think that would work. So I got some acid lovers fertilizer. I don't have a ton. buds on it already so hopefully we get some leaves off of this one this one's massive this one's taller than me <laughs> just about the same height as me actually do you want to plant raspberries next or do you want to go get mulch and mulch these and then we have like the edge for our pathway um let's just plant everything okay we got everything down here kind of eyeball it yeah I mean we can just yeah we'll eyeball out like a few feet maybe like here ish I think that's probably funny
fresh dirt and get that in the ground. These guys have been waiting three years for this. <laughs> They've been very patient. a bunch of these out and apparently we have a lot more raspberries than I realized because they were trying to spread but they were in the pots so we have a bunch of them and I don't have these marked anymore because the labels are long gone <laughs> so these are a mix of golden and red raspberries but we have a bunch bunch extra there's a ton of little ones over there that I'll show you but we have one two three four five six <laughs> seven, eight, that I would call like a plantable size out here. I don't know. <laughs> Do you got eight more holes in ya? <laughs> Guess I'll get digging. got one left that we need to dig a hole or that we need to put in the hole and that is the blackberry we're gonna put it in its own little area right here in case it is alive and if it is I guess later we'll either move it to a different location or add more blackberries here I have moved up towards where the fruit trees are and in the last video we mentioned we had an elderberry we need to get planted up here so I'm just gonna dig a hole pop it in there real quick and Taylor is gonna go work on getting some mulch for our raspberries I am out of breath <laughs>
just ran up to get more mulch for the blackberry that's planted right there. And then we'll put some of that on the elderberry bush that I planted up top by the trees too. We are tired. <laughs> it doesn't really seem like this would be something that takes that long, but just with all the steps it does. It's very fulfilling, but very tiring. I am ready to go convince Taylor to get some ice cream. <laughs> You can see we have flags all in there. That's because the raspberry bushes are all really tiny right now and it's just last year's canes that are small um, because they were kind of stunted in those pots. So we put flags just so we know where they are so we can expect where to see things pop up and we'll know if some of them don't make it or not. We'll know like, you know, nothing's popping up here. And then we did two loads of mulch on the raspberry bed specifically. We're trying to do it as thick as possible. We'll probably actually add another layer to this probably next weekend. So this will be nice and thick because we don't want to use our cardboard down here right now because we're kind of rationing it. We're almost to the point of not having any more and we still have a bunch of pathways in the garden to, to finish mulching. So I'd, I'd rather use it on the pathways up there than down here. So we're just going to do a really thick layer of mulch down here and just kind of weed it if, whenever we need to. The blueberry rows that we put in last summer, we remulched all of those with wood chips and did a nice thick layer on those. I got that all weed whacked, so everything's looking really nice down here. It looks really green and pretty down here right now, which I'm loving so much. for the evening ready to go get some ice cream before dinner to treat ourselves and it's looking really good i think that's going to be all for this video i am so happy to have those raspberries planted after moving them across the country multiple times and having them in pots and just having to kind of neglect them it feels really good to have them where they're going to stay on our homestead in our orchard it's so exciting before we end this video, I just wanted to remind you that one of our videos made it into a film festival this weekend and our video is playing on Saturday, but the festival is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's different videos every night and it's completely free. You just have to sign up for it so that they can email you the special link, but I will put it on the screen and I will link it below. Don't forget to vote for our video if you enjoy it because there is a grand prize and we would love to win. That would be so cool. Maybe we could get more trees. We are going to the live watch party in Black Mountain, North Carolina. So if you're local and you're going, we can't wait to meet you. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Don't eat those, Bill. 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 That was funny. I'm sweaty too and I haven't even done anything. We gotta get reused to the not sweater weather, the sweaty weather. I have to redo that because he talked. A ton last year. Say that again. This here. So you don't see me running. <laughs> Very not gracefully up the hill. Let's see if I can get this out of here without absolutely annihilating the plastic. <laughs> How did I pick it all up? Oh, oh god. I'm in a bad <laughs> position. I could have grabbed them. You want me to grab them? Yeah. Can you see my face? No. I want to talk to it. in the face of it. <laughs> Got myself. So good. <laughs> Wait, hold on, do that again. Moment's gone. Thumbs up. Oh, you do it whenever I look away. <laughs> this is a squirrel stash. Give me the nuts. Treat them with great care. Baby pecan. Baby oak.